How's it going everyone? This is MedCat here, and today we're going to be going over the electromagnetic spectrum and some brief light wave equations. So first things first, we need to know what we need to memorize for test day, which is half the battle with the MCAT. First thing we need to memorize is actually the order of the spectrum. Now I recommend you memorize it radio waves to gamma rays. That way you can go radio wave, microwave, infrared, and then Roy G. Biv. Of course, I've shown it backwards on this, but Roy G. Biv, then ultraviolet, then X-ray, then gamma ray. Okay. That way you can always remember that violet will be of the higher frequency, lower wavelength, and the red will be of the higher wavelength and lower frequency. Okay. And some more tips to help memorize this is that ultraviolet means above violet, something you probably don't think about a lot, just hearing things like UV light in casual conversation. And infrared, so infra meaning below, so infrared just means below red here. Okay. Next, we're going to look at wavelength range. And wavelength range of visible light specifically is 400 to 700 nanometers. And what we also should be familiar with is the red side is going to correspond more to that 700 and the violet is going to correspond more to that 400 nanometers. Next thing we need to memorize is our wave equation as applied to light, aka photons. C is going to be our speed of light, which we should definitely have memorized as 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Okay, that's an approximation. It's something like 2.998. Uh, to be a little more specific, but because we don't get a calculator on the MCAT, 3 times 10 to the 8th will be more than sufficient to get you to the right answer. Okay. And by the way, that speed of light in a vacuum, and light can be slowed down when it's going through a medium, as we've discussed before in some refraction videos. Okay. So the speed of light in a vacuum is going to be equal to the frequency of the light or photon that we're looking at times the wavelength. And finally, Another associated equation we need to memorize is energy of a photon, which is equivalent to h, which is Planck's constant, which is going to be about 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th, joules times second, something you should have memorized as well, times frequency. Or we can rewrite this equation by rearranging this equation to get hc over lambda. You could memorize this whole thing, or you could just memorize this part and then learn to substitute and rearrange this equation to substitute frequency in for C over lambda here. All right, now let's take a moment to go over a double AMC derived practice problem. I highly encourage you to pause the video and try it yourself before we continue. So assuming you've had a chance to try the problem yourself, let's go through it. First things first, we need to know background knowledge that the visible light spectrum is going from 400 nanometers to 700 nanometers. Blue or violet to red, respectively, there. That's all we need to know, which is kind of confusing because they give things to us in terahertz here. But we do know an equation that is C or the speed of light in a vacuum, is equivalent to frequency times wavelength. So if we write this out, we can actually solve for wavelength here. So let's do that. Um, so if we rearrange for wavelength, we get C divided by F. And we know C is 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And our frequency is 30 terahertz. Now terahertz, we should know that tera, SI prefix, means times 10 to the 12th. So if you've ever heard of a terabyte before, that's what we're looking at there. And a hertz is a reciprocal second, so we can write it like that. The next thing we might want to do is do 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. We'll keep that the same. And then we'll divide 30 by 10 and then multiply 10 to the 10 to the 12th component. That way we get 3 times 10 to the 13th. 1 over second. Okay. Now, along with a lot of other scientific notation problems, it's most helpful to break things into groups of 3, where we take everything in front of this power of 10, 
technically in math called the significand, powers of 10, and then the units, and separate them out. So we get 3 over 3 times 10 over 8, 10 to the 8th over 10 to the 13th times meter over second time divided by 1 over seconds is going to be equivalent to mul multiplying by the reciprocal, which is seconds over 1 here. Okay. So now what we're left with is 1 times 10 to the negative 5 meters. Unfortunately, that's pretty difficult to compare to this range of 400 to 700 nanometers. So we might have to do an extra step here of making sure that we're able to convert this into nanometers. And we should know that SI prefix nano means 10 to the 9th. So if we do a quick conversion here, we can find 10 to the 9th nanometers, and we'll get 10 to the 4th nanometers, or 10,000 nanometers here. Okay. Now this is well over this range, but we need to know not only is it within that visible range, but we need to know what range it's in. So now we're left between C and D. Okay. But we should know just from memorizing the order of our electro electromagnetic spectrum that 10,000 is going to be much greater than that red and something that has a longer wavelength than red is infrared radiation, or having a lower frequency than red. Therefore, our correct answer here will be D. That's it for today's MedCat video. Feel free to hit the like button, subscribe, and check out my comprehensive amino acid playlist, which can be found in the link in the description below.